<clears throat> it is discipline. It is work. And uh, it's a labor of love. You know, you love the Word of God, and but there is a discipline that comes with it. You know, you just const constantly, consciously, not this, but I choose this. And uh, it's, you know, I am resolved. Uh, things that are higher, things that are nobler, these have allured my sight. And so it's just constantly carrying the Bible around, picking it up every time you can. And and just plowing and plowing and plowing and searching and studying and meditating. And, uh, you know, in some ways it just doesn't do too much good to read fast. You've got to meditate. You've got to deeply meditate. You know, uh, here's Joshua chapter 1. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night that you may, well, how does it go? Study to do all that is written therein, for then you'll make your way prosperous, then you'll have good success. So here's Joshua, you know. I mean, here he is appointed to succeed Moses. He was the one that was, uh, had, his, had the hands, uh, Moses laid his hands on him. He was anointed with the spirit of wisdom and so on. He was a man who commanded the sun to stand still. There was no day like it before or since. He commanded the Jordan and the Jordan split. And so the, uh, Joshua was a mighty man of God. He was one of the two that made it into the, to see the promised land, you know. And, and yet with all of that here, the Lord was saying to him, Joshua, if you want to see success, you are going to have to meditate on the Word of God and obey the Word of God. And uh, so meditation, I mean, <clears throat> just like a cow chewing its cud, You've got to take time to be holy. You've got to take time to sit down and meditate on the Word, study the Word, follow the themes, look for a message. You know, C.T. Studd, they say, what are you doing up here at 3 o'clock in the morning? He says, I'm looking for a new command to obey. <laughs> and so, you know, I like to draw lines in my Bible. You know, take a lead pencil and a ruler. I always carry a, a, a little plastic ruler in my Bible so it's real handy. And you know, you, here, you know, follow the themes. Here this word is mentioned here, here's this word here, here's this word here, and make connections, you know, connect the dots. And uh, it helps you to remember the themes the next time you go through. And uh, um, another thing that helps too is to, uh, <clears throat> is to just have a, always have a note pad with you, you know, scratch paper, something, and write down every fresh thought. Write it down. You know, if if uh, if your father entrusted you with a ten dollar bill, and uh, you 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 would feel ashamed if if you had to tell him you lost it. And so here, God gives us some precious thoughts, fresh thoughts, that thoughts that I can share, thoughts that I can relate, thoughts thoughts that might be a seed of a sermon or whatever. And uh, you know, you don't want to lose them. We want to be good stewards of the manifold grace of God, good stewards especially of his thoughts, which are more valuable than silver and gold. And, uh, and then it helps, too, to, to memorize. Well, let me back up, you know, on this, on this other thing of taking notes. Um, I found it helpful to, like in the book of Deuteronomy, although I couldn't do it now, but at one time I could, you know, just write down one main theme in chapter 1, the one main, some, some key thing in each chapter. And so then you can always you can always think well yeah Leviticus 16 the atonement and Leviticus 13 the the leprosy and 14 and you know you got something you can remember in each chapter and it kind of helps you to know that book and uh, a skeleton you know on which you can hang other things that helps but it especially helps to memorize to memorize the New Testament epistles when I started out as a Christian why you know I was around some navigators you know and you got in the, uh, the topical memory system but that's that's the tough way memorizing one verse here and one verse there uh, it's much easier proportionally relatively speaking to remember to, to memorize a whole chapter than it is to memorize one verse here and there and uh, and also it's much easier to memorize a whole book and uh, you know, you, you may not be able to, rem you may get rusty and forget. You know, you can't quote it word perfect after a while unless you're, you know, just faithful to review. But nevertheless, you never forget what's in that chapter. You know that chapter like the back of your hand. <clears throat>